Returning now to our health headlines, a new drug to treat Alzheimer's type diseases just passed a major hurdle. An FDA panel unanimously backed Eli Lilly's new drug as dementia cases are on the rise. Now this makes two drugs that help slow the progression of these diseases. Our medical expert, Dr. David Winter, joins us live to explain. Thanks for joining us. Good to be with you, Cleo. Glad to have you. So, so tell us about this new drug and how it works. Yeah, it's made by the Eli Lilly company. It's a monoclonal antibody. The name is Nonanabub. They'll have a fancier name when they get it on the market. And actually, this is week, the Special Advisory Committee approved it. Now, this was 11 neurologists unanimously approved the drug. Next step, though, is the FDA has to weigh in on this. That's expected to happen they... in the fall. So how does it work, I guess, when we're talking about other drugs that are on the market? Yeah, this drug in Lequimbia, the drug that's on the market right now, they both shrink the plaques in the brain. That really works well. It seems like 35% less decline in dementia in folks who take these drugs. A minority cases, however, they have some significant bleeding into the brain. That can be serious, even can lead to death. So serious concerns about that. I mean, that sounds serious. How do the drugs cause bleeding in the brain? Yeah, let me bring up a model to show you. So here's a model of the brain, or at least half of a brain. And with Lewy body disease, you have plaques up in the front part. Alzheimer's, they're all over. And they can be the size of your fingernail, so good-sized plaque. And what these drugs do is they shrink those plaques. Now, when they shrink them, they can tug and even tear some of the blood vessels. When that happens, it's a major bleed. So you can't take this drug if you're on blood thinners. And they also use serial MRI scans. If they start to see increased shrinkage, shrink is going too fast, they'll cut back on the drug. So some way to try to minimize that serious side effect. Wow. Uh, Dr. Winter, is Alzheimer's an inherited disease? It seems like it runs in some families. It does seem to, and there's a genetic test, Cleo, but if it's positive, you have a one in three chance of getting Alzheimer's. So not a very good test to do that. Now, neuroscientists has told us, so if you're destined to get it, there are things you can do to delay it up to 10 years. Wow. Healthy diet, Mediterranean plus a DASH, D-A-S-H diet. They call it a MIND diet, M-I-N-D, lots of fruits and vegetables. Exercise regularly, control your cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure, and don't smoke. Well, Things Dr. we Winter. all should be doing every day anyway, right? You are absolutely right. Dr. Winter, thank you so much for taking your time out to join us here on Midday. Thank you, Cleo. Good to be with you. Always a pleasure to have you.